My son, my son raps. His name is Tut Tarantino. Wait, what? His, his old man put him out there bad. He wouldn't have never even knew who he was. I didn't even know he existed. He raps about some of the hardest stuff <laughs> in the world. The damn, I looked up, man, and I said, man, this, he got a son to rap? Tut Tarantino was in the building, right? Yes, sir. Michael Irvin's son. Yeah. Wow. Wow, well, the youngest. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yo, man, listen, man. Hey, man, we got a special guest in here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. This guy right here, you done heard about him on the news everywhere. He out there bad. He, I do. I do. My son, my son raps. His name is Tut Tarantino. Wait, what? His, his old man put him out there bad. He wouldn't have never even knew who he was. I didn't even know he existed. He raps about some of the hardest <laughs> stuff in the world. The damn, I looked up, man, and I said, man, this, he got a son to rap? Tut Tarantino was in the building, right? Yes, sir. Michael Irvin's son. Yeah. Wow. Wow, well, I'm the youngest. I think got a job, yeah, that's my drop-in spot right there. You say you grew up around them cousins. Yeah. Now, when, when your daddy came on there and went crazy and was like, hey, you know, like, he ain't been in those places, man. That man grew up. He didn't grow up around all that. You know what I mean? What did you think when you seen him do that about your rap your career? Where does this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life. you like, that's just the way daddy is. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's my pops. I see how y'all see it. I see how I see it. Yeah, that's my pop. So when you when you seen him when when he done it, you basically you hear about it on the news, right? And you basically everybody's talking about it. It went viral, right? Yeah. And you were like, "What the?" Heck? But it's a good thing, and it can't be a bad thing. But it's a good thing because you everybody know now that you make music. Did you did you look at it that way when it first happened? I mean, when it first happened, I I don't think a lot of people noticed. I was actually locked up. When you were locked happened. up. Yeah, I was in a facility at East Texas. Okay. I was in East Texas doing a program so I could get reinstated back into my probation. How uh, long were you locked up for? Uh, six months total. Okay. okay. Time. So, yeah, I was, and I, shit, I learned, I learned about this in like October when it happened. I yeah. I learned about it. Like the day after it happened, I called my baby mom. And the crazy, craziest thing that happened is the phones like they do this all the time, but on that night before it happened, the phones cut off. Like they they started like chipping, malfunctioning and stuff. So you know what I'm saying. I couldn't even call her back, and she thought I don't know what she was thinking. But that shit happened the next morning. Phones came on at the same time. I caught her. She was freaking out, telling me about how that shit was happening. I started freaking out a little bit. You know what I'm saying. I'm sitting amongst a, a whole bunch of you know what I'm saying people who gonna have an opinion. You know what I'm saying. Like, Did you call him? Uh, yeah, I talked to him. I, I only talked to him about three times when I was locked up. But yeah, I talked to him like probably like a day after that, I think so. What was the conversation like? I'm not gonna lie, we was. I'm not gonna say we were, we was just talk, we were talking about it. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, we gonna see what we gonna do from here when I get out. You know? Did yeah. you ask him why he said it? Nah. Nah, you ain't gonna ask your dad that. My, my son over there, he ain't finna ask me why I said nothing. He's not gonna question me. He gonna respect me because I'm his dad. You know what I'm saying? So I, But at the end of the day, he gonna feel a certain way. He probably gonna talk about it differently with the people he with deal with. Or but he ain't finna be with me like that because I'm his pops. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, which is cool. I understand that part. I think a lot of times people don't get that. But I don't feel like that's right. I, I feel like... Not to argue with your pops or something oh, like that. Here we go. Because Women I feel different. like because okay, because thing, for me, people it. talk about mental illness and stuff like that and depression and stuff like that. It's because people hold things in and not actually express their feelings. I'm not saying to argue with somebody, but actually say, you know, how you feel and say, you know what, I get where you're coming from, but this is how I feel. Even if you don't get a resolution, but just sometimes it's good to get something off your chest. When you get it off your chest to other people and not to the person who actually, you know, did something then you don't get that feeling back. You know what I mean? You don't get no, no resolution, so to say. I, I think so. You get what I'm saying? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> no. Not exactly. No, because I think we different. I think men don't, we move different. Like, we don't talk like women, and you can't make us be like a woman. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, that's why women be having them gay friends. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they can get niggas to talk like women, and that's how they cool. They do their hair. I'm being real. This is a thing. Uh, they all have them. And not you, of course, but some women do. You know what I mean? But men is just different. We don't talk like women. We don't do things like women. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a lot of times the reason why when we have our issues, y'all try to explain to it, it don't even be sounding right. That's why y'all hold everything you know in and y'all don't we let things do out. That. And yeah. that's why, you know, men have higher heart attack rate. That's why men have more stressful rate. Men have a now, lot of Now, men have heart attacks behind a lot of different stuff, not just stress. Uh, it'd be things like, you know, we work a lot physically. Cholesterol. Yeah, yeah. We eat different. We we work. We, we build stuff. You know, we build this. We build. Yeah, we build everything. The whole, when you go to pass all these new homes and stuff, some dude them built that thing. Uh, yeah. Let's be real. That's true. That's true. So you, our physicality and the way we built up, it ain't the same. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so man, like, like, so no, really, what happened that day? Like, I, I seen that, and and to be honest with you, he was going live it on there, like. Oh, and, I, and I'm about to get off my soapbox on it, but he was like, "You ain't even you didn't did you go to the to like apartments to do videos when you was in a million dollar home over here?" Miss Tut Tarantino, if you ever listen to some of his rap, I'm like, "Oh my god!" Uh, nah, I just didn't always, you know what I'm saying, live in my dad's home through my teenage years. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you see what I'm saying? He yeah. he was speaking on it like you had. I guess like you went to the apartments and did you know like your music video, but you really wasn't even living like that. And nah, I mean the thing is, I was actually really living like that because there were certain times that I was not living at my father's house, and I'm going over here by choice. Not necessarily, not, necessarily. not always. Most of the time, yeah, it's by choice, but it's more because you know what I'm saying. It's father son, I'm, I'm I'm coming in a manhood. It's father son, we butting heads. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm skipping school. He trying to get me to go to school to graduate. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm I'm just, I, I was being ignorant. I'm being an ignorant kid. And like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I, I know it's not right, but hustling is just, it's just in me. You know, so I was, that's what I was doing when I was, I was going to an alternative school because I had got trouble when I was like 15, sophomore year. Going to press one, I got kicked out of that school. I had to go to this, uh, like, this all boys, like, I mean, shit. And we were, in Florida, we be calling it a tent. But it's like an all boys school. It's in Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? I had to do that for like seven or nine months. You know what I'm saying? And I came back home, went to the alternative school. And that's when I was like, shit, I had, I had my little, my black Audi Q7. I'm going to school, skipping class. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing all types of crazy shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.